Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, we are going to see what is the role playing dimension and how this tax function use relationship help us to uh, implement this role playing dimension. And what are the issues that we encourse when we have a role playing dimension? We are exploring a Power BI uh, using a business scenario Naga garments. And today he has a question like, he wants to analyze its data using uh, delivery date, how many orders he has sold based on the delivery date. Usually uh, people analyze based on the sales date and there is another field in the sales transaction having delivery date. So if some quantity is sell done on 2nd of uh, March, the delivery date can be 7th of March. So he wants to analyze based on the delivery date. So, assuming uh, this is his business scenario, let us try to achieve, I mean, when he can use that use relationship. Let us see it in a demo. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in Power BI. So, I have a simple model here, product master, sales and dim date. Let me explain what is uh, role playing dimension. Basically. Uh, you have a sales date, okay, you can relate it to dim date. Then there is another column here that is delivery date. So this also you need to relate it to dim date. So one becomes active, another uh, relationship become inactive. Uh, that is a uh, uh, thumb rule of uh, Power BI. So a same date table acting in different roles. One has sales date, another has delivery date. That is what a role playing dimension is. So with this note, let us try to explore the problem. If you are not having a dedicated dimension for, if you have a same column here, if you are not uh, creating a relationship, what problems exist? Let us try to explore it. So quickly we will see the data. So we have a delivery date here, 22nd Jan, and you see a delivery date as 27th, five days later. So similarly, the problem here uh, to highlight is like if you have a 29 July, so the de delivery date is 29 July, whereas um, your, um, I mean, sales date is 29 July, your delivery date is 3rd of August, okay? So one, the transaction happening on one month and your delivery happening on another month. So assuming there are 100 sales happened, so 90 of them will be delivered on that month. Some of the orders may be delivered on next month. So on that month, if he is analyzing sales orders, uh, sales based on the sales rate, his count is 100. But based on delivery date on that month, his count can be 90. Okay. So how he analyzes the data based on that, the value changes. Now I have uh, here, without connecting to the dimension, first of all, I just want to highlight the issue here. So sales state wise, I am using the count of uh, bill. Okay, you see the measure here. Uh, that is the count of session is uh, my bill. So this is his sales. Now, when he wants to analyze the same thing using a delivery date, Please note, uh, I, I do not have, um, uh, I mean, uh, date dimension used. I'm using the base columns. I didn't connect a date, dim date. I use uh, columns from the transaction table itself. So now, when I use the delivery date here, instead of uh, sales date, I remove the sales date. Here also remove quarter and day. There you go. So you see here, uh, in 2016, there are 2,190 sales happen, whereas delivery is happened to 160 only. I mean, 30 deliveries happened next year. It is uh, changing, okay? That is what uh, it means. So what is the issue with this? When we have uh, two different dates in the same table and people want to analyze, so basically, if he, if he filters one particular date, 
uh, that is uh, in filter analysis i mean he wants to use uh, some date filters he need to use two different filters if he wants to click on 2016 here it will be uh, which date he can use so that becomes a confusion let us try to understand it i am using sales date for the filter okay now let me increase the slice little bit okay so i'm clicking on 2016 this is based on sales date now you can see here the 2016 data is correct but 2000 i mean for the sales is correct and here the 2016 deliveries happened 2160 and my 2017 data also came because the 30 deliveries happened on 2017 for the sales that happened on 2016 so that is the meaning of it but people people don't want to see this when i choose some date i want what is the total sales for sales date and what is the total delivery on that date so this becomes very complex uh, to understand if you have a multiple dates so which date you are using based on that it will behave so uh, people uh, if you use another date for uh, delivery date if you use the filter i mean um, what i'm saying is instead of uh, this this is based on sales date i'm copying and pasting it here for uh, delivery date okay i use a uh, higher and now you see here this is based on sales date and this is based on delivery date when i choose 2016 okay okay this filtered based on delivery date this is not my this is not my actual count correct my total sales on um, 2016 is based on sales state it should be 2190 handle such issues right i should use dim date filter i mean uh, for the filter let us try to create the relationship so i'm first using a sales date sales date to sales date that becomes your uh, active relationship so now now we got a uh, active relationship so if you see uh, this relationship that is date and now now we need to create another relationship here deliver date to date and this becomes inactive okay and indicates dotted line indicates inactive so uh, either you can drag and drop otherwise uh, you can go and uh, uh, see or manage your relationship that will be a uh, ideal option so now let me cl click on it and edit it you can see that is uh, inactive relation i mean you see here it is unchecked so here it's unchecked whereas for uh, sales date you have um, make this relationship as active okay that makes um, perfect sense now what you need to do now as soon as you create relationship so these uh, date tables internal date tables gone away that is why uh, it got uh, collapsed so instead of uh, these dates i mean I, I should not once i create a relationship with the date table i should not use the tables from i mean columns from uh, transaction table so instead i need to use sales date here and obviously obviously sales date also to be here i mean only date here okay now you see the problem this is sales quantity by sale this is not a sales rate but basically this is sales quantity by uh what do you call delivery date okay delivery date okay so fine so will this solve the problem now so let me add a filter as well since um, what happened here is like when I click on 2016 again 
let us try to increase the size and click on 2016 now again it doesn't solve because I want to analyze by delivery date since the relationship is inactive this doesn't simulate uh, my uh, delivery date um, uh, data if you seen uh, previously without uh, using um, I mean creating before creating a relationship delivery date shown 2160 only so I need to get that result so to do to do that we need to use relationship the inactive relationship to be stimulated I mean uh, should be make it active so that is why you use use relationship so this I can told you within uh, two minutes you can use relationship but you need to understand the uh, problem and uh, this is the one of the major principles of uh, modeling okay so you need to create uh, you need to have a dedicated dimension if you have multiple tables and you use a simple code otherwise you will end up with writing uh, multiple complex analysis so one line will do and solve your problem so I will create a new measure now so I will name it as um, um delivery quantity equal to calculate always the calculate that's the magic what i want to calculate i want to count off um that is uh, my sales uh, serial number receipt number okay comma just use relationship and what relationship dim date dot date okay comma and delivery date close it just press enter so it's one single line will solve all your problem whatever we just uh, we have seen so now I have created this what it does is like whenever there is some operation happened here I mean in the dim date you use the date okay the 2016 to be passed to the delivery date then the filter supplied over here then your expected results will display so in this place instead of my uh, count of session ID I need to use this delivery date now that is the magic so when you click on 2016 only the respective year data is displayed when you click on 2017 respective data is displayed right otherwise you will end up with uh, um, confusion so this is what you need to understand you need to have a proper modeling and then your uh, querying becomes or DAX becomes very simple it is a single liner I hope uh, you like this video and share and subscribe to the channel comment below for queries do remember that data is your asset